Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. I'm afraid you can't see that whole canvas. Darn. Okay, well, I'll turn it sideways in a minute, and maybe you will. So I'm going to do another scape, and these are my swipe cards made out of packaging that I was going to throw away, refuse otherwise. And I'm going to give myself some vague lines to remind me of what I want to do. And then I'm going to just get on with it. I'm going to throw a bunch of green gold in the center section with some other colors. The emerald green for one. And I have a new color from Arteza that I put down right here that is just a very pale metallic green. And these are going to help me put a swipe on top of things. And right at the moment, I would like enough paint to go over my edge. Just got to use my finger. <laughs> it's just all there is to it. It's the best tool I have. So that looks like more than enough paint. Like I might have gone a little overboard. Usually I do my sky first, but I don't know what possessed me to think that I wasn't going to do that right now. There's a bubble. Go away bubble. I'm just going to wipe these off. Wipe the spatula off on the edge of the canvas and leave that there and wipe off my spatula on my studio rag and leave that there try and get it completely clean so there's no more green there and take a bunch of white metallic from Anita's I believe that is a hot orchid prism pour, and I pour it on the the white so it won't immediately bleed into the canvas. Seems like I am, for some reason, putting an extraordinary amount of paint on my canvas today without realizing or without being responsible. That's highly unusual for me. I did want to do something that proved to myself I could do things quickly. I want to save that paint and I want to put a little bit of Golden Hour from Arteza. And also Some other orange, which is basically a yellow. I don't know if I can get away with this or not. I hope so. I want my puddle of paint to merge. I'm going to try not to mind any spatula marks because I'm pretty sure in a second they will all sort of dry in, they'll, they'll blend in. I have a scrape dish, which I like to take the paint off my spatula, especially at moments like this. You know what, I'm just going to blow this in place. So it's a sunset. 
I kind of want to tip some of it. Not that it's going to go anywhere, <laughs> but I'm going to try. And I think if I dip my spatula into the colors down there, I can spread them throughout the sky too. Which is kind of okay with me right now. Not so sure about those marks, but if I really don't like them, I can always use the straw again. All right, so scrape off my spatula, wipe off my spatula, be ready to go. I wasn't gonna do anything on the bottom, but I think I am going to do uh, add a layer of color so that when I get to that point, I can do what I want. That is a folk art color shifting turquoise flash. And my center section paint is still looking nice and wet. And the best thing about doing this undercoat is that I have enough paint to put something on my edges. Although I may not have given myself enough. Maybe I'm trying to conserve finally. Oh, I've got paint that needs to get pushed over. I've been experimenting with uh, using the, the Amsterdam black with the pre-stained wood conditioner that's by Minwax added to it. It doesn't work in the white, which is too bad. I really would have liked that. So I will have to figure out another cell activator for the white. Or maybe someday I'll just break down and buy some Australian Floetrol, unless somebody's feeling generous. <laughs> I haven't even tried to go through that process yet. Okay, so I have not a lot of paint, but enough paint, hopefully, to cover my bottom edge. Unfortunately, the green will probably also go in the ocean as well. I'm going to throw that spatula right in the bucket. I realize I left my secondary tile in the bucket sticking out, which is going to be hard to throw things into. I'm just going to drip on the floor. Okay, so now I was thinking of starting at the rock wall, but or the or the ledges at the bottom, but I think what I really need to do is give myself a starting place up at the top, and try not to go, try not to do too many sections at once, and use all of my same colors. That might have been more of that than I needed probably go back and forth. I definitely want some more of the green gold. I have a nice little wedge shape. I have a couple of them actually. I don't know if you can see them. That one's more of like a trapezoid. If that's what that's even called, I can't remember. Um, I'm going to use my Amsterdam black. I, I want a bunch, but I'm not sure I want as much as I have. But that's very well covered right now. I'm going to try and get some of my paints out of the way. I'm going to put it down, slide it over, and slide it down again before trying it. Larger canvases than my area. Um, I want some copper in there. I also want to use my black on my edge right now. I think that's a thing as opposed to a color. I want to grab some of my lighter color purple. And a little more. Actually, I want some darker purple up there too. I 
really want some blue in there. I don't know why I'm being called to blue, but I might be sorry about that. I'm going to use my scrape dish. Go back in my Amsterdam black. I'm going to pull this over to the edge if it will come. I'm going to use the edge of my card. couple of different ways. Come on. Pull this side over and wipe off the excess that I picked up that's got enough Amsterdam black in it to cover the edge and blend it in with everything else. I like that. Where's my silver? Ha uh ha, -huh, I know I put you down here. There you are. Kind of want some turquoise in there too. Let's see if it's open. And it's open, that's good. Grab a little bit more. Keep trying to cover the edge. Not so sure about the green in there. That's okay. I'm working on it. I want to turn my card right around and use it the fat way. But I don't think I can. But I can use it this way. And then the other way. I hope. I'm being called to Prussian blue. I'm also being called to fill in that gap I see right there. And to use my paint residuals on the edge of the canvas. If I do it as I go, then I don't have to worry about it too much later. I haven't used any gold and I want some. Throw a little bit of this turquoise in there that you can't get anymore. Along with that. There is quite a bit of paint on there. a little bit more of this electric blue. And a little bit more of that emerald green. All right. I'm gonna have to use it upside down if I want it. I want some of this paint, actually. This is a fire opal, I believe. And I want some more gold right there. It's going to be hill country. I think it's time to clean off my swipe cards. Because it's totally schmutzed up. And if I want it again, I'm going to have to clean 
clean it up. I did that because I wanted to mix the re residuals of what I had. Oh, I like that down there. Just trying to keep my edges covered as I go. Go in the opposite direction to make some ledges. I've got two minutes to tell you guys I do sell my artwork. I'll turn this so you can see some of it. I think I'm going to do... What else? I want something up there. I think a little more gold. And also, interesting land configurations for sure. So that's something weird in my sky. I'm just going to make some clouds. Yep. All the way across. Do some pouncing. Hope I can get my ocean done. Advance. I just really wanted to play with the layers. The layer look is cool. I should have put some white Anitas in there too, but I think I might do something like that on the ocean if I have time, which I'm not sure I have time. This is my peacock that I'm almost out of. I've got one minute left. And I don't think I'm going to get to tell you much of what I usually tell you, which is um, look on the end screen video for the monthly drawing at the beginning of the exhibition video there. And you will, I'm going to use my spatula because that's just a lot easier at this point. I don't know if it's even going to look like an ocean right at the moment. But I don't mind if it comes out kind of abstract either. I want some of that Venetian blue, but I want to make sure I don't do too much of it. Boy, that is some strong stuff. So, I love you guys. If you want to be uh, included in the monthly drawing, please contribute through PayPal or Patreon, and you can find that icon on my YouTube channel banner in the bottom right-hand corner, and you guys are gone. Or very nearly. You're still here. Okay, well, I'll just keep working on this then until you're gone. Please give me a thumbs up. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves.